Hi, I'm Kirsten from RSPCA Victoria and I'll be talking about responsible horse ownership. Owning a horse can be a rewarding and enjoyable experience. Horses can be used for pleasure riding, competition or just as a companion. Owning a horse is a big responsibility and long-term commitment, requiring significant time and effort, and it is expensive. Before you buy or commit to owning a horse, think about whether you can provide all the requirements a horse needs. You could speak to a vet to get some advice on this too. Horses need adequate, good quality roughage to eat, whether this is pasture, hay or chaff, to keep them in good body condition. A guide to the right amount of roughage is one to two kilograms for every 100 kilograms of your horse's body weight every day. A horse that is being exercised regularly may need supplementary feed. Additionally, you could provide a salt lick or mineral block in the paddock to help make sure your horse gets everything that it needs. Remember, you can always ask your vet about the right feed for your horse. It is important to make sure you budget for the feed your horse will require. Feeding your horse can be costly, particularly during drought conditions. If you can't afford to feed your horse, you must find alternative options such as adjustment, leasing to someone else or selling. Your horse needs constant access to clean water. They may drink 25 to 45 litres a day in hot weather. A dam or self-filling trough is best and check them frequently. If you use a bathtub, they must be checked daily and refilled if necessary. Avoid using a bucket as they can be tipped over. Protect your horse from extreme sun, wind and rain by providing the right shelter. Trees or a walk-in shed or stable make suitable shelter. You can protect your horse from the cold with a waterproof rug Make sure you check it daily to make sure it's not rubbing, slipping or leaking. Horses must have enough space to walk and run. If your horse is stabled, they must be exercised daily. Stabled horses must have enough space to walk forward, turn around, lie down and roll. To keep your horse safe, make sure the fence of your paddock is in good repair. This also helps to prevent it escaping. Remove any threats such as loose wire on the fence. Keep the property clean and safe by removing rubbish, weeds and manure from the paddock regularly. Your horse will need regular vet checkups at least once a year. Horses also need regular hoof care by a farrier, usually six to eight weekly. Dental checks and a vaccination at least once a year. Worming, frequent monitoring of their body score and regular check for any injuries. Vaccinations are the best way to protect your horse from preventable viruses and diseases. Your vet will advise what your horse requires. Some horses can develop laminitis, also known as founder, a very painful hoof condition. It is important to contact your vet if your horse appears lame or uncomfortable or if you are concerned about your horse's weight and need advice about managing this. If your horse is rolling on the ground repeatedly, looking at its flank or seems otherwise uncomfortable, it might be colic. Contact your vet urgently. Horses are herd animals and need the company of others, whether in the same paddock or an accompanying paddock. Horses are happier if they have a horse companion and are able to see and touch another horse. They will naturally choose to stand together if they have company and will feel safer with other horses around. Being isolated may lead your horse to display stress behaviours such as pacing along fence lines or being difficult to control when being handled or ridden. Check your horse daily to make sure it has enough feed and water and is not injured or ill. By handling your horse frequently, it will be easier to manage when the farrier, vet or dentist visits. It's your legal responsibility to make sure your horse has what it needs to be happy and healthy. Taking care of your horse's welfare will be rewarding for both you and your horse. Authorised by Victorian Government, 1 Treasury Place, Melbourne.